Hey guys, I wanted to do what I believe is the only tabletop review of the Veteran Arms 2.5 inch bore hand mortar. This guy is so massive and impressive, I am still like giggling with how cool it is. I just got it in from another collector, I did not buy this new from the company. So there is a little more wear and tear on it if you order one from Veteran Arms. You will get a nicer looking one, although there is a bit of a wait period. I got a great deal from my buddy because I've always wanted one. Veteran Arms has such amazing craftsmanship with their weapons. Uh, they all, they're all they all just gorgeous. Uh, Iraq Veteran 8888 did a video on one of their match locks. And here, I, oh, excuse me. Uh, here I am doing a video on their uh, hand mortar, which is definitely the coolest gun on their website. So... Right here, I'm going to grab my 357 Magnum snap cap. And just look at the size of that. There's a 75 cal sub chamber inside, which is where your powder charge would go. And this is a massive two and a half inch uh, bore, which would be used to shoot your Granado. So like a, a lead ball about this size, that would be... Uh, either a solid ball or a granado, which is a let, which a hand grenade, an old timey cartoon bomb. You know the bowling ball with the fuse sticking out the top. Um, this guy is it's incredibly front heavy. It's sixteen pounds, so it's a show. I mean, it's sixteen pounds, but it's all the weights right here. There's no not like some of my other muskets that are the same weight range with the fifty seven inch barrel. These guys, it's incredibly easy to shoulder. Um, it is not a firearm under U.S. law, so unless you live in New Jersey, I think that's the only, yeah, New Jersey is the only state that has a law against it, but other than New Jersey, even in California where I am, you can order these things um, right from their website. It'll ship directly to your door, no extra paperwork. And to show you the size, here is a AR-10 lower, and yes, I am in California, and I mean, you can see that the AR-10, just the lower, is almost the size of the gun. It is compact, and it is just so dang cool. I have not gotten a chance to shoot it, but I have been playing around. It throws great sparks. I've charged the pan twice, and both times it had great ignition. I'm going to see if I can cock it then. Oh, jeez, that's heavy. It has an incredibly heavy hammer and an incredibly heavy trigger system. Let's see if I can... So it throws great sparks. Uh, I will be needing to order some of this new larger sized flint because I, this is the only flint I have for it. Um, the wood looks amazing on it. He said he did refinish it, but he didn't do anything to the actual carving of the wood. So this is all original from this. He just said he did a restain, which I like. I like the darker color. Um, the, the brass on it, it's comfortable even though it's a large pad. The embellishments like up here is just gorgeous. Uh, if you want to order one from Veteran Arms, I would suggest ordering one as soon as you can. They do take about four months for them to make up for you. Uh, I don't know if they're made here or somewhere else, or made inside the United States or somewhere else. But there is absolutely zero chance this thing is going to have any sort of problem. It's... I mean, you can see the machine work inside. I've shot muskets for such a long time that just looking at that, even though it's a brass barrel, I know this the, the absolute thickness of this, unless I do something stupid like 400 grains and a couple musket balls, you know, something crazy to try to break this thing, that it's not going to break. Um, I mean, you can see it's like... I have, I have a very large hand. Again, like here's... A 357 round in, next to my hand, and I mean it like, you know, it's like the size of my hand. It's massive. Oh, wow, I've been rambling for four minutes. Um, I'll see if I can link the video down below. If you want one, I would say order it. Don't waste your money on another AR. Everyone has an AR. This thing is awesome. If you don't want the hand mortar, Veteran Arms has such amazing weapons. I would order anything from their website. Um, especially their matchlock guns. I want a matchlock gun so bad. I think that's going to be my next purchase after this uh, flintlock hand mortar. And there you go. You can see <laughs> you can see a distorted version of me right there. 
And I mean, it, it's gorgeous. I am still so happy. Sorry, I've been rambling, but I literally got it like 10 minutes ago from FedEx. So I've just been like giggly this entire time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see if I can link the link Veteran Arms in the description below. If I can't, it's www.veteranarms.com. Uh, if you go to their website, there's two videos online uh, um, uh, linked below the hand mortar of uh, other people firing it. Uh, I will try to definitely get a video of me shooting it out too. Hopefully a little more information when we're shooting it show you a bit more because the other videos are kind of uh, short. But uh, yeah, thank you so much guys for watching.